Harvard University and other Ivy League schools canceled classes after Donald J. Trump won his re-election to help the students process their grief. <laughs> Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Harvard University and other Ivy League schools across the nation canceling classes after President Donald J. Trump won his re-election. Now, not only did they cancel classes, they also gave them certain things to help deal with the pain. I'm talking about Legos, cookies, ice cream. I am not making this up. Listen, hear me well. I am not making this up. Now, if they're getting these kind of things to help them deal with someone winning an election, I don't know what they're going to do when they get out there in the real world. Listen, I would presume that everyone in college is an adult. You may have some that are younger for certain circumstances, but for the most part, 99.999% of the time, you're dealing with adults. Cookies, ice cream, Legos, you need that to do with this? I mean, are we men or are we mice? Are we 18 plus or are we four years old? I can see if you are four years old, you're in the playground, you fall and bump your head, you might sprain your elbow or something like this. You get a little boo-boo, your mom gives you an ice cream cone at the end. Okay, maybe, maybe. And that might be a little much, okay? That might be a little much. If your dad is there, going to give you a punch in the chest and say, hey, get up, boy. But anyway, I can understand if you're four years old. But an adult getting this kind of treatment, I don't know what we're going to do with these people in the future when real world scenarios strike. Now, before I go any further, we got some articles to get through here. Now, so you know I'm not posting fake news, and I'm not just making this up, and I didn't just grab it from the internet. This is the Harvard Crimson. This is Harvard's newspaper. Look at the headline here. Harvard professors cancel classes as students feel blue after Trump win. Subhead, students awoke to a somber campus following Donald Trump's re-election to the presidency early Wednesday morning. Quote, my heart dropped a little bit, one student said. Now, really? Is that going on? It is, I promise it's not that serious. I'll link to that article in the box, but here's another one that I wanted to get through. This is Daily Mail, okay? Daily Mail. Ivy League students offered crayons, Legos, and cookies with milk to cope with Trump's re-election win. Crayons, Legos, these are adults. This little combination right here, cookies and milk, crayons, Legos, cookies, this Reminds me of when I'm like six, seven years old at the little daycare facility. Okay. You get off of school, your mom's at work, you go to the little, you, you get on a little van, right? Take it to the daycare place. And then they give you snack time and things like that's what this is. You're talking about grown people. I wish somebody would try to say, Hey, ABO, you want some Legos, man? Look, I, you can see I'm a full grown man. I'm not playing with no toys and stuff like this. I'm just not. But anyway, Harvard, um, UPenn gives students a day off. Princeton professor emails students with what well, to, to postpone exams. Georgetown University builds self care suite for stressed students. What's that? Like a safe space? You could go in there, what, a crying room? You could go in there and scream and shout. Anyway, let's let's get through some of this right here. So I believe schools across the U.S. canceled classes, postponed exams, and told students they could color with they could color in with crayons and offer milk and cookies to cope with Donald Trump's resounding victory in a presidential election. Harvard and UPenn, which is Donald Trump's alma mater, told students they could take a day off. At Harvard, classes ranging from applied math to the study of ancient Greek heroes were called off. That's according to the Harvard Crimson. Again, that's Harvard's paper. At Georgetown University's McCourt School of Public Policy, a self-care suite for students offered students a chance to play with Legos, doodle with crayons, and munch on milk and cookies in recognition of these stressful times. Can we just pause for a second? Now, these beautiful, immaculate buildings, castles, institutions of higher learning are supposed to produce the future world leaders of this country. Well, not, not of just this country. They're supposed to produce future leaders of the country and world leaders. But you mean to tell me after a president wins, you're so stressed out, you need milk and cookies as an adult? Okay, listen, we're dealing with adults here. That's the, the key. I could understand if we're dealing with preschool kids, something like this. All right, 
adults. No, 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 no. You are too old to be doing this. And if you're behaving like this now, what are you going to do when real world scenarios strike? Let's say you get um, a Harvard grad who did this, who then tries to become the president. They're going to be looking like tampon, Tim box or Kamala Harris or worse. They're going to we're, we're producing ineffective leadership from these institutions in many instances, JD Vance, an exception, but there's too many, there, there's too few JD Vance's and too many tampon Tim waltzes, if you catch my drift. But anyway, leftist professors at Columbia university and its sister school, Barnard college, which became epicenters of anti-Israel protests last year, also sent emails to students, encouraging them to take it Wednesday following the presidential election. One student told a New York post that professor sent out the memo around an hour before Pennsylvania was called for Trump by the decision desk. Oh, so you already knew what it was. <laughs> you already knew it's like, look, all right, man, we, we know that this ain't going well. So we're going to get out in front of it right now. They already pretty much gave up. In one email, Barnard professor Amelia Simone Herbert told her student in the race, space and urban schools class that she hopes they are taking care. I recognize that processing the results of a national election can be heavy and having space to breathe and go a bit slower is vital. She wrote as she announced class would be cut short. Still, she offered to remain in the room for anyone who wants to use it as a workspace or a space to reflect with others, a safe space, a crying space. Okay, you want to go in there with your baba and your blankie and your cookies and your Legos and whatnot, your Power Rangers, action figures. Hey, go in there and be a kid again when you're really 25 years old in college. This is a mess. This is ridiculous. Okay, adjunct professor of international public affairs at Columbia University, Michelle Green, whose bio says she served on the Obama administration's White House Council on Women and Girls, announced she was canceling class altogether. Quote, the current events will make it difficult to concentrate on factorial ANOVA, ANOVA, and although I plan a tentative lecture on modern polling methods in their blind spots, it feels a bit tone deaf to deliver it today. Quote, be good to yourselves, checking on your friends. She concluded in her message. Dartmouth also offered distraught students a decompression dinner and listening circles to console them after Kamala Harris lost the 2024 presidential election. Now, what is a, a listening circle? So what y'all going to do? Y'all going to go somewhere, sit Indian style in front of a campfire, get some s'mores and just start crying. <laughs> and like, is that what we going to do? We going to be crying on, we going to be crying with some hot cocoa and whatnot. These people are so soft. So, so soft. I, this is crazy. I mean, listen, we lost last time in 2020. And look, man, life goes on. You got to just keep moving. Was it the desired result? No. Do we want a different result the next time? Of course we did. Of course we did. And we got it. But we, rather than crying and all this and that, we just got to work, got Trump back in office, and we back on. That's what you should do. With every setback, defeat, loss, whatever you want to call it, bumping the road, uh, with any type of adversity, you got to be able to get over it. And getting over it, in my opinion, does not mean just go get cookies and milk. That's not really how that works. Anyway, event organizers at Ivy League School were encouraging students to be off the grid the day after the election and join them at, uh, what's it, Musalaki Ravine Lounge for a decompressed dinner. Bring a book, a craft, a friend to the lodge. So, Hey man, bring your your um your boss of wood little structures, the things you would build in vacation Bible school. Yeah, bring bring some of that. The things that you were tinkering around with in your third grade class. You're I know you're 23 years old and you're an 18th year senior, but check it out. Go ahead and bring that, and we're gonna get you through this time, this trying time that way. Man, oh man. So shout out to Harvard, Dartmouth, all these colleges. Listen, you guys are supposed to be producing leaders of the future. How are you going to do that when they can't even process the results of an election? You lost. It is what it is. It is what it is. You know what? As I close, I want to say this. Rather than crying over your Lego set from the first grade, rather than eating milk and cookies and your favorite blankie and your baba, rather than doing that, how about 
producing better candidates? How about producing better policies? How about governing better? How about just doing better? Tighten up, fix it. If you guys want to win in the future, you got to do it. Now, I'm not really trying to help you guys win. So if y'all want to just be crying and carrying on like that and continue to produce these soft and effective people, then go ahead. That just does well for us on the right. If you want to do that, go ahead. But this right here, what I just broke down is a big part of the reason why we don't like them. Stuff like this, we don't respect. And the people who do things like this are not the types that command respect. How am I going to respect a grown adult, 27 years old, in college, crying over milk and cookies and playing with some Legos? I, I just can't do it. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your take on these Ivy League schools and what they're doing to help their students process their defeat? At the hands of President Donald J. Trump. Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. This is hilarious. This is crazy. But it comes as no surprise. We see the street interviews at these colleges. And the things they say, the way they think, it's so soft. It's so brainwashed. I'm not surprised that somebody would just completely break down and crash out over Kamala Harris losing. Not surprised at all. This is what... They have created soft, weak-minded people that can only succeed by gaslighting, manipulating, basically being involved in a lot of criminal activity from a media point of view and a political point of view, in my humble opinion. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.